Hello and good afternoon. It's not very often you are catching me during the afternoon. I'm just going to check that I'm live in the right place. Bear with me. Alf is excited. He thinks there's somebody here. Right. Let's just wait for that page to load. I'm not sure if anyone will be actually joining me for the live today. Just because... I'm out of, out of routine and I've no idea if I'm live in the right place either, which, which would help. So, okay, it has loaded. I am live in the right place. So hopefully somebody will be joining and Oh, the weather. It's been a bit of a busy morning, but the weather here is, shall we just say grim to say the least. It's cold. It's like eight, nine degrees. It's wet. It's breezy. It's grey. It's dark. I mean, can you see out there? It is not pretty out there today. So you are catching me. It's two o'clock. Hello, Lucianne. How are you doing, my lovely? You're catching me on the afternoon just because it's my birthday tomorrow and I thought, well, I was kind of hoping I was going to be doing something a little different. So I thought if I scheduled for this afternoon, at least I knew I would get the live fitted in this week. So Alfie, that's enough fuss from you. Go and lie on your bed now. Go on, good boy. So yeah, so um, I thought at least I would get on here and I've got a few things planned with you, but I do want to show you one of our new kits today so if you are joining please do say hello Lucianne you are good yes I am good thank you sorry I didn't manage to leave the house on Friday at all um, I had a full-on work day wasn't planning to um, but just the way things happened I was here so I was I was over here at about quarter to eight in the morning and I didn't leave until probably nearly quarter to six on Friday so I had a really good full day of working. Kate, the weather grim is an understatement. Mm -hmm. You're not too far away from me, are you? So you're probably experiencing the same. Um, crafting will make it better. It surely will. I have had some posts and I did think that I recognise your writing. So thank you very much. I will be opening that up tomorrow. These birthdays come around so fast, don't they? so fast right i'm going to set you down so i was a couple of minutes late coming on because i had an update on my phone a few days ago and we're a bit crooked as well um <laughs> i froze for a minute then um i turned my phone off mm -hmm. yeah so what was i saying where was i can't remember that's how my brain is at the minute so I don't know whether that actually paused my live. You could maybe tell me, but I know I'm still live. So yeah, weather is just abysmal. It's not pretty at all. So right, let us get on. Yeah, I know what I was saying. It's all coming back to me now. I was trying to sort out my do not disturb and I did an update on my phone well an update automatically happened a few days ago and everything kind of changes doesn't it when you do that update and it came it the do not disturb um I can't seem to just switch the button like I used to be able to so the reason I do that is so that if somebody rings or if anybody comes to the gate they will ring press the intercom which then rings my phone which then kind of throws me out so I hope I've managed to sort it but it was asking me all these questions about who do I want want to ring me while I'm in do not disturb and it doesn't normally do that so honestly technology is not my greatest thing and my brain it, it just cannot focus on anything at the minute it it won't focus on things and it won't relate things and that make sense it my brain is just somewhere else, let's just say. Let's hope it comes back anyway. Right, I'm going to turn you down and show you this new kit that I had arrived a couple of weeks ago. Not had a chance to do anything with it, but I just thought 
I would show you it. So hello, Zana, if you are able to say hello. I can just see your name popping up. So you might well be just scrolling. That is fine if you are. So bear with the palm of the hand. I'm going to turn you down. Shifty everything around. Wait for the focus. Or oh, leave it at that zoom for a minute. Let's pop a bit of light on. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Right, I have got here. I'm going to tape my grid paper down and then we'll do the zoom after. I have got the new birthday card organiser. You're popping in, not just passing. Lovely. Great to have you. So this is the birthday card organiser kit. And I wanted to just show you it in real life because it is super pretty and would make a beautiful Christmas gift for somebody. So I'm going to quickly show you it. You've got your instructions here. It's a no stamping kit. Um, so you could give it to someone who isn't really that creative, but that you think might have, you know, a bit of fun putting some cards together. So these are the cards and you've just got lots of beautiful elements. You've got a roll of tear and tape. You've got some lovely adhesive sequins and some dimensionals. You've also got some glue dots in here. You've got some gorgeous lined envelopes which I tend to like cut into sometimes. But remember, you could make up these cards and give them as a gift and, and wrap it up separately. You've got some push out kind of laser cut or die cut pieces, elements. You've got triangle shapes here and then you've got this lovely flower. You've got some sentiments in different languages. There's just one sheet of those, but two of these. So days, uh, months of the year to go in your book. You've got these banners. Also got sentiments for your cards. Got the cards themselves. So two, four, six, so you can make 12 cards. So these are your card bases. And then you have this gorgeous, let's move that out of the way, album album book however you want to call it it is super pretty very sturdy and then inside you've got a pocket in the front here but you've got all these pages with pockets in so you would put your month of the year and then you can make the cards and slot a couple in and obviously you could make extra cards as well because the colors in this kit looks like mint macaron does it actually tell us what colors are in here i can find that out but yeah even in evergreen oh it's pet even in evergreen petal pink sahara sand and soft succulent so it's not mint macaron at all soft succulent i should have known that one shouldn't i my favorite so you've got all these pocket pages here to pop your cards inside um, and then you've got one at the back as well. So it's a really lovely, sturdy gift that, as I've said, you could give to somebody who's maybe a little creative or you could make up all of the cards yourself and then package it separately or pop it back in this lovely, sturdy box. You could cover up this bit here with a bit of stamping and then gift it to someone. So I just wanted to share that with you because it is super lovely and would make a fabulous gift. Right, let's lay these down and then we can zoom in a little bit. So back to the task in hand. I don't know if that'll be enough. Um, Go, not using the framed florets today, but I wanted to just remind you of this bundle. And I've got a few different offers going on. Let's see if we can come in a little bit more. And these are available. It's available as a collection. So you've got both stamp sets, you've got the die set, you've got the pattern papers, and you've got the embellishments. These are all early release products well, I say all of them. 
These two are early release products that will be making their way into the January mini catalogue. Put those to one side and be using the dies, but move that out of the way. The Framed and Festive, which is part of the collection, is only available until just before January when the mini catalogue goes live. So if it doesn't sell out before then, it's only available until... What date does the mini start? Let's have a quick look and then rather than giving you false information. So 5th of January, the new mini catalogue starts. So this will be available until the 4th, um, along with pattern papers, which I've already shared with you and the swirled, what's the real name? Gold adhesive backed swirls. Aren't they pretty? Gorgeous. So those are only available while supplies last as well. So that's just important to remember that these will not be carrying over. Obviously they are what they are, they're festive. So unless they made their way into the annual catalog next year, um, but they won't be available after January. Could not resist using the Cracker and Treat Box die again. Um, like to show you value for money, so you do repeatedly see me using products. Now, the reason for today, this was something that Sophie had suggested to me about running a class to, and that, to show you how you could kind of jazz up a gift card because with the way things are, everybody, when it comes to presents for Christmas, everybody's got everything, which is really sad, isn't it? And we never know what to buy people. And we end up just giving a gift card and we kind of push it inside, maybe a beautiful card that we've made. But it just doesn't seem, you know, it, it's just a little card in there. You know what I'm talking about? Things like, I mean, this is beautiful in its own, isn't it? Just look at the colours. But... How nice would it be to create some kind of packaging for that gift card? And I've done various things in the past. And last Christmas, I created some boxes that I was using for gift vouchers, which I'll be doing again this year for those of you that, that would like gift vouchers from your family and friends. Then they can get in touch with me and I can provide you with those. And I like to prepare them in a, in a package form so that it's not just... A little voucher. So Soph said, why don't I do a class to show people how they could create their own? So today I'm going to share just a couple of ideas, what I've come up with. And I wanted to use the framed and festive stamps to do that. So let's bring in, I've got three projects for you today. Now I want to be done by four o'clock if I can. And to think that you might stay here with me until four would be lovely but i do get that it's going to be quite a long time so i'm going to see how we go with time i don't plan to be here for an hour another hour and 45 minutes but if that's as long as it takes then that's as long as it takes so i also wanted to use as you've seen these uh, frame i keep calling them flamed florets framed florets dies um, I'm offering, if you buy this and the stamp set as a bundle during this month, so you've got just over a week left, um, I am offering you a class kit in the post free of charge and it's to make some cards and some packaging using the bundle. But I'm also running a class in person. So you can come along that to that, pay to come along. But if you purchase the die and stamp bundle, you can come along to that class for half price. Okay, so that is my offer. I've been trying to get an email out for days since the seasonal sale happened. Gosh, was that a week ago? Did that happen Tuesday? Oh my goodness, might have been Wednesday. Um... MailChimp is not letting me send emails. I do not know what is happening. I've sent out a few random individual ones via my AOL, but MailChimp is not playing ball. I just do not know what's going on. And technology and me are definitely not friends. So it's been a bit of a struggle trying to fathom out what has gone wrong. Um, and I'm definitely looking at using another server, a paid service again. So I think I'm going to have to get a wriggle on and get that set up. So back to the task in hand, gift card holder. So I've got some pieces of cardstock here. 
I've got a piece of evening evergreen which measures three and seven eighths I think no it's four and an eighth by five and three quarters which is like the standard size of my folded card front then I have some layers a layer to go to mount up directly on top like that and then I've got some other pieces that I'm going to be die cutting and I'm also going to be doing a little bit of heat embossing as well because you know that I'm addicted to heat embossing with gold at the moment so I think we might do that first and then we can allow it to dry before we start running it through the die cutting machine so has anybody got themselves this bundle yet right let's pull in a bit of scrap and I'm going to use from the what have I done with it there the framed florets not the framed florets the framed and festive get the words right We've got such beautiful greetings here that fit inside those oval dies lovely. So I'm going to be using Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Just love the font on these. I've mounted it up ready. So it's red rubber, so we do not need to use the foam mat. So I've got my Versamark, got my embossing buddy. And I'm going to grab my gold powder move the chair out of the way and we'll get to work I'm a bit chilly let me just see what the temperature is in here oh it's only just under 18 degrees not very warm it's because it's so damp so I'm going to start with a little bit of powder now because I'm using the craft cardstock I don't want to heavily cover this in powder otherwise it's it's going to show so I'm just going to put a little layer over and start with my stamping. So Lucy, only got to go and do the school run. Yep, do catch up on the replay. It'd be lovely to have you back. I'm going to take my Versamark and just ink that up nicely. Plenty of ink on there. And I'm going to stamp it down in the middle. Nice firm press. Put that lid on and then we'll just pop some powder over it. Can you see it? You can just see it there. It shows up quite nicely on here. Just pour some gold powder over and tap it off. Can you see? Looks very dull at the moment. And then we'll just heat that up, get the heat tool going. Let it warm up. Hi, Belle. You're lurking. You're prep prepping for your live. I know that's why I want to be finished by four so that I can catch up with your live whilst I work. Right, I can just see a couple of little speckles. I'm just going to flick that. Just looks very thick there. This is just an old paintbrush. Just give that a heat. Hopefully you'll be able to see this turn quite easily. There she goes. Look at that. It's like magic, isn't it? Now the projects that I'm creating today, I have already done in a different colourway. And I white embossed onto the craft. And I will show you that after. It's quite a nice effect. Right, let's move that out of my way because I seem to be getting very clumsy lately. Very clumsy, so we've just heat embossed that. Don't you just love a bit of gold during the festive season? I mean, gold at any time, but that's just curled a bit where it's heated, but it would be totally fine. Right, let's do a bit of die cutting. This is gonna to come together quite quickly. And this is kind of part one. I've got two two long sleeve tops on today and they keep reeving up. But I wanted um, extra layers because I've been over to, I was going over to babysit Teddy 
this morning. So I left here about nine. And when I got there, Coles had a phone call from school to say that, um, could she go and pick Evsy up? Uh, because she had a temperature, even though she didn't have a temperature. When she was back in five minutes and she definitely didn't have a temperature. But so she had, she, I had her as well, which was fine. So she's great company and she was perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with her whatsoever. Um, but I wrapped up warm to go out because I was planning just to go out and do a little bit of shopping with Teddy. But because the weather was so naff and so damp, I didn't want to drag them out. So anyway, I've still got both layers on, which is just as well because it's not the warmest in here today. Right, so what I'm going to do is pull in the dies. Might do both of these together. I think that will be fine. And I want this a gorgeous oval. And I need to make sure this stays central on my piece of paper. So I'm going to tape it down. Take some of the tackiness off of there. I'm just going to tape that down because I want to use, I'm going to be using that layer. So I want it to be straight. And then I'm also going to use this one, which is beautiful. Oops. I'm going to be using some of those as well. And I only need the center of this, but I tend to cut my paper that way. It works quite well. I'm just going to push out those couple of bits that are hanging in there. Put those in my bin. And we might just tape this one down as well. So I've had a busy few work days. A busy few work days. That doesn't really make very good sense, does it? But I've had a bit, few busy days working, shall we say. Um, as I said, I worked all day Friday in here, which was just bliss. I'm going to run that through. What I'm going to do first, actually, bringing this back, is I know I showed you this before, but this is just a, a good reminder. I don't think I need... I'm going to put it on that one, but by putting a piece of scrap paper, just photocopy thin paper over the top, it will just protect that white surface from my grubby etched plate. It would just leave it smoother. The other layer doesn't really matter because it's gonna be hidden. So I've been doing lots of class design, well, not so much design, but class prep. So I've got a few extra classes that are over on my website. This is just beautiful. How could you resist that? I don't need that bit though. I'm gonna save that for later. And a good tip to get pieces out is to really tap this down and a lot of them will fly out on a hard surface. We don't need that bit, but we'll save that bit. It's the center piece that I wanted. And then we've got hearts everywhere. Let's pull that off gently. Save that tape for next time. Yeah, so I've got a few different classes coming up. We're gonna get rid of all of these hearts. I can't keep saving them, I want to. Makes me feel quite anxious having to throw them in the bin, but I haven't got time to keep rescuing them every time I use this oval die. And I've been using it a lot. Still some pieces left in here and it's important that those get pushed out before you next use it. So I will do that later. So it cuts out all of those beautiful hearts. Right, I need to do another cut with that. And I'm also going to emboss this one. I've put 
pulled out my wintry embossing folders. Perfect for the festive season. And I think I'm gonna use the snowflakes, what I used on my original plan. So we're just gonna open that up, pop that in. I quite like these fine snowflakes here. So we're not gonna see much of this layer at all, but and I'm gonna run that through in a minute, but I also need to cut this out. And for that one, I'm going to use the the oval that's got all of the like the etching in. Okay, so this like puts little cut lines into it. I think it's my favourite one out of all of the ovals. Sorry, trying to read not very good at multitasking. Don't tell Jason that though, because I'm always ribbing him about not being able to do two things at once. Okay, let's just pull that up. And we're going to push this out really gently. So can you see these little dots here? That's just for helping you to push out and I don't need this bit for this project but it's going back in that little pot okay so you just need to gently pull that out can you hear just how it's it, it is kind of being cut into just to give that lovely lovely finish around there it's going in my little pot for later and then I'll just run through. It's a little bit close to the top. I'm just gonna open it, pull it down a bit. At the very top of the embossing folder, I don't know if you can see that, but if you push your card, show you. When you're embossing, if you push your card right to the top like that, it will leave leaves a little line at the top and the actual pattern finishes at about that much from the top. So never push your piece right in. Otherwise you'll have like a line. Right, I'm just gonna run that through. with a folder so easy but gives such a wow how pretty is this one isn't that lovely right so I think we've got all of our elements apart from the little star now what I like to do I've talked to you about um, using scrap paper to protect any white space that you're working with when you're using your die cutter machine because the plates will etch. Can you see here? That is probably just adhesive off of my plate from probably from the washi tape that I stick down and a good old adhesive remover will get rid of most of it. But when it comes to using foil, this will get etched into and if I was, I want some of these lovely gorgeous little stars from the cracker and treat box dies now if i ran that whole piece through my cutting machine it would leave a nasty mark over it what i might do is do it that way so i only ever put through what i need so otherwise it will etch into that and it won't be smooth and shiny so I'm going to run that through let's just tape those together and I'm just going to run that through quickly this bottom plate could do with changing soon it's it's getting very 
Can you just see the difference? How can I do it? It's, it's a job to see on such a small piece, but it leaves all lines over it. So I'm always very frugal with my gold foiled paper. And you can get that in the annual catalogue. I'm going to show you it actually. I think I put a marker on my page in my catalogue in case you are not sure where to find it. Because at this time of the year, we all need a bit of gold or a bit of silver. Right, what have we got? We've got lots of different speciality papers. We've got the Distressed Gold, which is lovely, and the Gold and Rose Gold metallic paper. That's really great value as well. Um, that's six by six sheets. But I've used, um, over here, the foil sheets. So you can buy it in copper or gold. Something's popping up on my phone. Um, or we've got metallic, brushed metallic cardstock, filled cardstock, which is beautiful, rose gold. So we've got lots of different options, but this is the one that I've used. You get two sheets of 12 by 12 in a pack for only £4.75. So really good value. And like I've said, if you look after it, a whole sheet is going to last you a long time. Right, let's start putting this together. So I'm going to start off by popping this right down in the middle. I've got a brand new Tombow today. Let's get the wet wipe out ready. And we're going to pop this down, straight down on this evening evergreen layer. I could put some in the middle as well. So I'm going to be offering what I am showing you today I'm going to be offering the kits for sale, but I've got it in two different colorways. If, if what I'm doing isn't Christmassy enough for you, I've got another colorway that I'm going to show you after. So I'm going to lay that one down first and just check in my original. And then I'm going to pop this oval on top of it. Are we close enough? I think we are, aren't we? How beautiful are those snowflakes? Sadly, we are going to be colouring, covering over a lot of that, but pretty. Then, oh, then I'm going to put on the reverse just a blank sheet of basic white in case you want to write a message on here. So, got an Alfie hair stuck to me, right there. Stuff Tombow on me. So we just stick that one down. And what we're gonna do now is add on this piece of pattern paper. This is from, what is it actually called? Let me grab it. What have I done with it? Right under my nose. So it is called the Fitting Florets. So I've show, I have shown you this paper pack. I'm just pulling out some sheets so that you can... So it's this one here. It's available as a limited edition. And what I'm going to do is create a little pocket on here. So all I want to do is add glue to three edges and I'm going to do it quite close to the edge so that we have like a reasonable sized pocket. Okay, so I've just added glue to three edges and then we're going to lay it down. It fits, I've cut it to just fit inside this evergreen panel didn't want it the same width, I wanted it just shorter. Bit of Tombow coming out of the edge there. And a bit there. So we've just created a little pocket on there like that. And then next, 
I've got two different ribbons that I'm using today. I have to show you this. Um, uh, let's just say it wasn't Alfie. <laughs> it was his annoying little brother, Archie, in the summer. He is just a puppy. He's just turned one. And at that point, he was probably only six months old. But he came up into the studio when the doors were open in the summer. Um, and I had a load of orders sat in a basket. And amongst that basket was this lovely roll of beautiful satin ribbon. Anyway, I hadn't noticed that he'd came up and grabbed it and ran off. And when I went downstairs, looked across the garden, I was like, what is Archie chewing? What's he found now? Because he look, he was just, even now he does like to chew stuff. Um, and I went over and then I noticed he had my roll of ribbon and it was like, uh-oh, that is for a customer. I had to order another roll, um, but it meant I had an extra roll to play with for myself. So little monster, he's definitely got better. So as I said, he just had a, a first birthday. Um, but any of you that have had a puppy will know what it's like. It's like having a child. I think it's worse than having a child. And I'm not sure that I ever want to do it again. So, anyway. I'm going to tie myself a little bow. I'm not going to tie it in a knot because I'm not sure if this will be enough. I think it will be. Pull that nice and tight. And then we're just going to like turn it back around so it's facing in the right direction. Pull it really tight again. And like pull down the, the bottom tails. Make it a little shorter. Yeah, puppies are hard work. I did try to tell that to Safe before she got him. But she wouldn't swap him for the world. So I'm going to trim off the edges because I don't really want it quite that long. And I'm going to just squidge that over to the other side. So we've got a little pocket here. But to finish off, I'm going to pop on this top piece. Just to, I'm going to pop it behind, behind some mini dimensionals. Um, and I'm going to hover it over. So I only want dimensionals on this bottom part. Otherwise, you're not going to get your gift card in there. If I stick it anymore, so. Alf has been out in the garden and now he's licking his paws. Just move that up a bit higher. That's what was popping up on my phone to tell me there was movement outside. Right, let's just pop that on here. And I'm also making sure that I'm catching the ribbon so that it doesn't slide away. And then to finish, we'll just pop on a little gold star that extra bit of bling. Just bring it in a bit, a bit close to the edge. And then we've got this little kind of card. You've got somewhere on the back to write your message. And you've also got this pocket and it means it doesn't hide it specifically, but you don't want to hide it because somebody may not realise what it is. But I just thought that was like a different way of kind of making a gift card holder. Could go anyway, like that. So you need, they need to be, know it's something in there. Or it could just slide down in that way. Like that. You could, of course, fold up some money and put that behind there. And that on its own could actually be turned into a card. So you could make that as an actual folded card, okay? Um, but me being me, I thought it needed to be slightly more extravagant. So created something for it to go inside. Is my original, pretty much the same. That gold foil. 
it seems to stand out lovely against the craft. So what I've done, I've created something extra. Where are my kits? I've put them in there. So I've got some bits and pieces in here. Make sure we've got everything. Got some evening evergreen, some soft succulent, another piece of that paper. And that's it's important to say that this strip is one and three quarters wide, deep, and I've cut it at four. So from one sheet of 12 by 12, I've cut a one and three quarter strip. And by cutting it at four, I've got three equal pieces. So good afternoon, Margaret. Please do not apologise for being late. I am thankful that you are here joining me. So thank you for stopping by. Got some pieces of foil for die cutting. I've got another piece to do some stamping on. And then I've got some scrap for die cutting as well. So I'm going to start with this first and do exactly the same as I did previously. So I'm going to pull in the Versamark. You missed the chat about the the roll of ribbon that made its way out to the garden with my daughter's puppy. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't ruin the ribbon itself. It still had its, pla it was brand new, it had its plastic seal around it. It was just the actual spool that, that got ruined. So let's stamp that down. That doesn't look like it caught everything very well, but we will see. It doesn't look too bad. Add some powder. Make sure everything's covered. Tap off the excess and just have a little look and make sure there's nothing where it shouldn't be. And then we'll heat that one up and then set it to one side. Let's put the lid back on the Versamark. I hope you're keeping well, Margaret. Just give that a little heat. Let the magic commence. Heat that up. Try not to heat your fingers when you're doing this. And make sure you heat everything. Because you don't want any loose powder hanging around. Give that a shake. And we'll set that to one side for the moment. Right, what I'm going to be using... is one of our craft gift boxes. Let me grab one out. These come in a pack of 10, I think. And I think they are £9.95, I want to say. I adore them. Oh. Do they have a film over them? Because if they do, I have never registered that. And I've never told anybody that. They actually do. I did not know that. And it's only for the fact that this one has a ripple in the middle. Do you know what? Every day's a school day. I've just learned something. So you actually have a protective screen. I'm going to leave that on there for now. You've got a protective layer over there. So I did not know that. Right, let us crease on all of the lines. These boxes are honestly so handy. I have done so much with these. And we'll just do the long edge. A bit hard to show because it doesn't really fit on my screen. And there are different ways of doing this up. Um, you could make the bottom a solid a solid piece or you could make the top 
a solid piece if that makes sense and I love that they already have on these self-adhesive tabs and all we're going to do is literally stick it down either side like that they're so easy to assemble sorry that was very close up to my camera then so just pull off the backing stick it down sorry looking at You've had your last physio and you've got back exercises and more exercises. Joys are getting older. Yeah, I know, Margaret. You know that saying? Age doesn't come alone. So we've got like a front panel built up. And then all we need to do is make sure these are nicely creased in. Just will help it sit together nicely and we'll just attach these i mean it couldn't get any easier could it a ready-made box and you couldn't put a multitude of things in these boxes i quite often put cards in them and then they just close up first time sometimes they're a bit of a struggle to kind of get in but once you've kind of opened it and closed it a few times i can't believe i didn't know they had protective film over but there we go i do now and that's the most important thing so what we're going to do is decorate this box with the pieces i've got so i've got a strip of evening evergreen and the the width the depth of this is two inches and it's the length of an A4. Now it could be you've got another piece of similar size in your scraps. Just use that. It doesn't have to be any definite measure. And then I'm literally going to fold it around like this. Literally not putting any score lines in. I'm just folding it. And I'm going to like pinch it. Then I'm going to take it off and where I've got those lines, I'm going to reinforce with my bone folder just so that we've got a nice crisp edge. So just going over those lines that I made, those score lines, so that we've got nice crisp edges and then we're going to pop it around and then just seal it up. Now I don't want this to be too tight. I'm going to put a bit of Tombow on this edge and a bit on here. And I'm going to push them together but not too tightly because we want, this is our belly band. We want to be able to slide this on and off easily. It doesn't want to be too loose otherwise it will just fall off and you don't want that you but you need to be able to i want to make sure that that's stuck before i you need to be able to kind of slide it up and down with ease all right so we're going to pop that on there so that it's in the middle next i've got a sheet of piece of basic white which measures i think three by three three by three and I'm going to run that through where's my wintry embossing folder gone oh I put it back in its in its little home going to run it through can never open these up the wintry embossing folder so I do that quickly out of shot it's one of those days where you really need a good old Party hot dinner tonight to warm you through. It'll be a candle lighting night for sure. And I think we may have to light the fire. 
we did light it on Saturday night and it was so cosy. So that was just the little fire down in the snug, but it was so cosy. Isn't this beautiful? Remember these come as a pair. Right, my strip of DSP, as I said, measures four inches. So it worked for my last project. And then this piece is exactly the same size. And I'm literally going to stick it down on top. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a, a cosy night. We need something good to watch on the TV though, because Jason's been watching I'm a Celebrity, but I'm not a fan, to be honest. I'd rather be, I'd rather be scrolling on Instagram than watching that, um, which is pretty sad, isn't it? But for me to sit and watch TV, something has to really grip me. It has to be good. Then I'm going to layer on top with my, let's just pop some Tombow on there with my little basic white layer. So I'm just kind of lining it centrally over the aperture. Let that dry. I need to do a little bit of die cutting next. So I'm gonna take these two and cut those out have to do them separately. I just can't get over how gorgeous this is. It's like a very thick embossing on there. It just got, it's got really great substance. Just love it. Tape that one down. Just run that through. Then we'll do, I need to do one the same. I don't have one in my pot of goodness. No. Take that off gently. And pull that out. So remember, I'm going to be offering a kit that includes all of these products. to recreate these uh, gift card packaging. I need to do one of those as well. So just run that through quickly. I think the key is as we get older Margaret as well it's like it's keeping yourself moving isn't it not letting although my body feels like it's seizing up I do roll out my yoga mat every morning not to do yoga just to do stretches just to help because my back is continually stiff And quite often with crafting, we do sit down a lot. Although I'm I'm on the go all the time, I do feel like I'm sat on my bottom a lot. Right, so we've just got these two pieces, so that used the same die. Uh, I'm going to layer these two together first, actually. So I'm just going to lay that one down. Pop that one over the top. Make sure that they're kind of lined in nicely. And I'm going to just stick them together using dimensionals. So I'm popping the dimensional right over the join where the two join in together, just to hold them together. We'll put plenty on because we can. And you all know I love my minis. Peel all those backs off. And then I've got 
one more step to do before we can put these down. But those are both stuck together now. Oh, I didn't cut that very straight, did I? Goodness me, that is crooked. Too late now though, it's gonna have to stay that way. Right, let's pull in some of the, um, this is the in color ribbon, what's it called? Open weave. I'm gonna tie ourself another bow on here. So get your ribbon straight before you start and then allow yourself enough that should be more than enough so the more i pull it this way the longer i have to play the more i pull it this way this piece gets shorter so i'm kind of pulling it along to think hmm, how much do i need that should be enough tie a little loop pinch it tightly and then pull it through Hold on to the loops and pull the opposite tail. That will do. Got a bit of a long tail on there, but maybe we'll make that a little bit bigger. And then we'll just chop those a little bit. Not the prettiest of bow, but it will do fine. And we're gonna hover it over, see if we can turn it that way a little bit. Sorry, I'm out of shot. Such a faff. Can't help but faff. <laughs> Who else? Please tell me there's someone else that's like me. Just like to faff and fiddle. Okay, we're leaving it there. And then what we need to do is put on, I'm going to leave this ribbon quite low down. I want that in the middle of my aperture, but my ribbon I want quite low down like that. And then we're going to pop this very wonky oval on, which bothers me very much, but that's the way it is. It just doesn't look straight but what can we do it's a facebook live if i wasn't on the live i'd redo it i could always do another one stick it over the top after <laughs> margaret you've got arthritis of the lower back and hate it when they mention your age i know i know Okay, so we're just decorating this box then. I'm gonna add on, I'm gonna die cut some pieces with this. So we're gonna do some stars, but also from, I'm gonna pull out the stars from the Cracker and Treat box. And then again from the, the framed florets, we're gonna use this one, which is super pretty. And then I've also pulled out, if I can find it, This one that I use a lot, celebration tags, and I'm gonna use the snowflake. So we're gonna run all of those through together. So we'll have a white snowflake. Got some pieces left in there. I've got um, a, a, I think it's a muscle pain a few years ago when I was training to do a 10k race for life with my lovely friend Jane, um, let's just stick these down because they're bound to move. Um, I pulled a muscle in my top left thigh and thankfully I rested it for a couple of weeks before the run and then it kind of went away but then it started coming back and waking me up at night. And to cut a long story short, that was like six years ago, probably seven years. 
2016, five years, six years. Um, and it still gives me grief and it wakes me up at night. And I went to have it checked out, had physio on it. And basically they told me just to keep exercising it. So I did my regular exercises and it went away and then it came back moved everything sorry now i've got to stick it down again the snowflake moved um so i went back to the doctors recently because it was waking me up and i saw a physio and she basically told me that it was onset arthritis and i kind of believed her as it went away again and now it's waking me up at night again so i don't think it is I think I need to have the the original physio told me to go back to my GP because I went back after like three months and I said, look, it's not really much better. Um, and she said the only thing they can't do anything else. But if I go back to my GP, they can refer me and I can have a scan on it. And of course, it went away again and I sort of forgot about it. Let's just pull that up. Um... And now I'm thinking, do you know what? I really think I do need to go and have a scan on it. Just to see what's going on. Just pushing out those pieces. Something hiding behind here. Got Tombow on my fingers. I love this snowflake. Look how pretty it is. So, yeah, so I feel like I need to go back, maybe have a scan, because this this muscle, you know, I've got other joint pains, but this muscle is it's like a muscle. It's nothing else. It's annoying. I don't sleep that well as it is without that waking me up as well. <laughs> well, at least, at least I feel like that's the way I look at things. I'm not really one to one more too much too much try not to anyway right so we've got some lovely little pieces of goodness here so we'll just use these to embellish our box so this one here i'm literally going to pop a bit of tombow and wedge it under there to quite low don't want it to hang over the top of my the edge of my box too much otherwise it will get damaged okay then on top of that just gonna pop on our snowflake over here let that dry for a minute there's quite a lot of tombow on there and then i thought we could add in these lovely stars so we'll just put those in a triangle dot them around one over here still on that same bit of putty but it's still picking up Rather large dollops of glue there, Kerry. Turn over. And we'll just let those dry for a minute. And I couldn't resist using the new swirls. So remember, these are only available while supplies last or until the 4th of January. Look how beautiful they are. They're not the kind of thing you would want to be overly extravagant with. But one or two on a project. Just finishes it off. Like that. Probably can't see now. Getting a glare from the plastic. 
And then this slides off. I'm not going to slide it off because these aren't stuck, but let's get the one I did earlier. I've got lots of gift packaging already to put vouchers in. So the only thing you have to be careful of is just sliding above those stars. And then my theory was our little gift card holder. Colours blend quite well, don't they? Can go inside. Could even pop in a nice bar of chocolate or something. Slide that back on. And then you've got a lovely simple treat. But how nice is it to give something like this rather than just a card with with a gift card shoved inside. Just so much more thought and not too expensive to create either. Okay, so just the box on its own works out at 95p um, and then a few bits of cardstock and a bit of ribbon and a bit of bling. So I thought that would be a nice way of gifting a gift card. So I hope you will agree. And think about the possibilities as well of what else you could do, how else you could decorate it. Right, I've got another project to share with you. Put that to one side. And this time, I've got my beautiful daughter had a load of these brown bags she'd bought she's a bit like me loves a paper bag but she packages her embroidery kits in them um thank you Belle. and she gave me a whole stack of them so she's like can you make use of these I'm like yes most definitely um love a brown bag and do you know in years gone by i used to make albums out of these slightly larger ones but i used to make albums paper bag albums went through a massive craze of those anybody else done those in their time so i've got a few bits and pieces cut ready so i've got that final piece got to get rid of that bit of glue that final piece of patterned paper there from that strip of one and three quarters that i cut this is the last four inch piece now i'm going to decorate this bag but we're also going to put something on the inside so first of all, I've taken a strip of soft succulent and I've cut it at three and one eighth. I'm looking for something and I can't see it, but it doesn't matter. And I think, what measurement? Is this just the length? This is 11 and a half. So you need to score it down the middle. Have I scored it? Let me just check. I think I have. Yeah. You need to score it down the middle at five and three quarters. Now, my scoreboard is over the way. So what I'm going to just do is I'm just going to slightly break down the fibres in the middle because I'm going to fold it. And I want to reduce too much of a crease. So if I fold it really quickly... There, we didn't get too much of a crease. So I've just folded that in half like this. And then what I'm going to do is pull out my very best trio punch, which has yet more Tombow all over it. It's the pitfalls, isn't it, of um, crafting with Tombow is that it does kind of get everywhere. I don't like fingerprints everywhere. That's part of the OCD, isn't it? I just can't help, I can't look at it. And I didn't make a very good job of cleaning that, but I'm just gonna go with it and ignore the fact. So I'm gonna use this lovely corner one that I would just want to use all of the time because it's so pretty. And I'm gonna do both ends. like that so that they match and then one end 
I'm going to pop this in and line this up. Find the middle. So I'm looking at this point here and just judging to get this roughly in the middle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Obviously, I can't see from where I'm standing, but all is not lost because this has happened before. All I'm going to do, can you see, it's, it's just very not in the middle at all. I'm going to pop it back in, use it from this side, and I'm just going to make it longer and extend it. So now can we see it's like, it's more in the middle. <laughs> There's always a way around it, guys. There's always a way around. I'm going to pull out a pencil and just draw in there like that. I know you're all chuckling at me. And then I'm going to go back in. When you're using a punch upside down like this, be careful of your fingers. You don't want to pinch your fingers. So I'm just lining that pencil mark back up with that little slit. There, all is not lost. Oops, I've got a little pop up on my phone again. Must be Alfie outside. So we've now created this little pocket, and then inside, might just have to run and find. Oh, no, I had one somewhere. What have I done with it? Where did I put it? I've got a whole load of these. Bear with me, I've got a whole basket. Of these. And you're going to be seeing a lot of them because the date on them is January 23. And Sophie and I bought a box of like 48, I think, and went halves on them. So, and I've not used them enough. So, what I'm going to do is pop it inside here. Take my very chewed roll of soft, succulent satin ribbon. And I'm going to go from the back. So I'm going to go th through the first hole here and then through the front one. Hopefully I'm in shot. I've got all these pop-ups coming up on my phone, which is annoying. So I've gone from the back through like that. I'm going to wrap that underneath. And we're going to tie ourselves a bow. Get that ugly roll out of the way. And we'll tie it up here. I think that should be enough. Gonna pull it quite tight. Now you could you could tie a knot at this point if you're not very good at holding things down. Um wanna tie it that way. But I'm not sure if that will be long enough. Let's see. Might just be. I'm going to pull that one around, pinching it tightly and then pull it through. It's hard because it's satin and it's slippery. Once you've got it, just kind of pull it nice and tight. And then you can pull the tails just to make the loop a bit shorter. I just love this ribbon, honestly. I wish we had it in every colour. It's so pretty. It just ties beautiful. I mean, it's not so pretty in that state, but it ties the most beautiful bows. It's going to give that another really tight pull. And just even up those. So we've just ended up with this little pouch with a, a sweet treat inside. And what we're gonna do is open up our bag. I'm not opening it fully. So this would, would it's a block bottom bag, so it would stand up on its own. But on this occasion, I don't want it to. Margaret, you're looking for treats to go in crackers. Yeah, you and me both. I've got a cracker class coming up and I'm on the hunt for all sorts of things to go in there. So I'm going to just pull it open like that and I'm going to pop this down in that front section. Just make sure the tails go in like that. Can you see it's kind of sat in the front part? 
push the tails back in and then I'm going to fold it over like that, give it a good crease. Okay, so we've got this like flat package. Now I've got another strip of Evening Evergreen. Is it the same width as the box? It's two and a half. The box was two. And I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna like just break the fibers down and kind of just curl this piece. This will just help reduce. Can you see how curly it's going? So it's actually breaking the fibers in the cardstock and it will just help it to wrap around here because I've put my treat in first because I wanted to allow um, I did if I'd wrapped this around first that I may have done it too tight and then we wouldn't have been able to get our treat inside so I'm gonna have it at the nearer the bottom and I'm just gonna can you see how lovely now there will be a bit of a crease here but I didn't want to put an actual score line in it. So I'm kind of making it bespoke to the gift that's going inside. And then we're just going to add some Tombow here and here. And just wrap those around each other and let them dry for a moment. I feel like today I'm going to reward myself, <laughs> not for any reason. I made a rocky road yesterday afternoon and I'm trying not to eat too many sweet things at night. I've gotten into a really bad habit of having ice cream and a treat every night and I think it's not helping with my sleeping. So I don't want to eat the rocky road tonight because it's a bit of a weekend thing. But I thought if I have it... It's my afternoon treat. Hopefully all that sugar will have dispersed by the by the time it's bedtime. So yeah, I when I say I'm rewarding myself, I've got nothing to reward myself for, but I feel like I'm gonna have it anyway. <laughs> so yeah, good old Rocky Road. Might have to make one for you for Thursday, Belle. We'll see, we'll see how time goes. Right, so we've just got this lovely wrap around and it's kind of hiding the fold at the bottom of the bag. Okay, we'll bring it a little bit lower. And then what I'm gonna do, oh, I need to do this again. Let's do this quickly. We want another gold embossed. I'm gonna do a different greeting on this one. I'm gonna choose the, tis the season to be jolly. And I need to remember to try and get it straight this time. Not too much powder, otherwise it will show. It is my birthday week, Belle, yeah. So we'll justify it with that, shall we? Lots of rocky road. Lots of rocky road. So I'm just inking that up. Want plenty of ink on there. Stamp that down. Move that out of the way. Can you see that? Bring back in the powder. And get plenty on there while it's still wet. I mean, the Versamark takes a while to dry, but I like to get it on there sooner rather than later. This time, once I've heated it, let's try and die cut it straight. <laughs> How fun is this greeting though? Tis the season to be jolly. I just love the style of the script. Get this heat tool going. Get that heated. Here we go. It's just, it gets me every time. For how many years have I been heat embossing like this? And it just, it's just magic, isn't it? Okay. We are done. 
We are done. I've got a bit of die cutting done already. Let's just let that cool for a moment. I've got some stars that I've done ready. I also want to, let's just do those quickly. From the framed florets again. So you can see these are Christmas projects I'm doing, but I'm finding use of the dies as much for every day as for the festive projects that I'm doing. I'm gonna take these down. I'm so frugal. I can see an opportunity. I'm taping those together because I don't wanna run them over. If I don't wanna run, I don't want them to layer on top of each other like that and go through my machine that will not do them any good so i'm going to tape them together so that they don't overlap each other and then i'm going to tape them to my gold but i can see an opportunity maybe to get a gold star out of that corner don't think i'll get two for sure oh the rain I'm just going to run that through. We'll be having flood warnings before you know it here. Had so much rain just today alone. Oops. And it all fell off. I think we just about got that star in there. Yay. <laughs> See, look, we would have thrown that bit away. Alfie, I hope you're in here under my desk. He is not. I hope he's not out there. Sometimes he does this. He's just like happily wandering around the garden, getting soaked. I can hear him. Hello, little man. Have you been outside? He is... Very wet, shall we say, little monster. It's the worst thing about pets and wet weather, is to scrape off those pieces. It's having to dry wet paws all the time, every time they want to go out. Oh, I need to do that one as well, don't I? Carry, embrace the, engage the brain. Right, let's get this one straight. Let's get it straight. These dots, they make it hard for me. I think that will be okay. Because they, they throw you because they are not at the top of the oval. They're kind of on an angle. Right, just run that through. You are absolutely drenched, mate. Have you had a good time, though? I expect the, the moor hens are out. They love this weather. They wander around the garden when it's wet. Right, we've got that one left in there, but I'm going to get that one out later. You don't need to watch me do that. Of course, that bit could be used for something if we trimmed it equally on the outsides can we just appreciate it is the season to be jolly how has that happened by the way how have we got to this point of it being so close to christmas right it's got nothing to do with the way this goes in does it because it will only fit in one way right let us put some dimensionals on the back let's make sure it's fitted together nicely Oop. pulled off the top of another that's it we don't want any gaps 
layer those up roll on the spring that's all i say i'm not a huge fan of of it getting dark before 5 p.m it just makes it makes you not want to do anything doesn't it it's like we end up wasting our time because we can't be out doing stuff in the garden we kind of just like cozy up and watch tv don't we I guess it's an excuse to snuggle. Right, I'm going to put that to one side because I'm going to pop that one on in a minute. But first, I'm going to take some more ribbon. Actually, I'll put this layer on first. That would be far more sensible. So it's a bit of Tombow. Oop. How messy is that? Lay that one right down in the middle. Like that. Take some ribbon. Tie us up. This time I'm going to do a knot. Okay, so if you're not, pardon the pun so great at a bow just do a simple knot it uses less ribbon so if you don't have as much ribbon on hand pull that nice and tight have it at an angle i'm gonna make that a little bit shorter in the middle and then we'll pop this layer oh Kerry now I've just realized what I've done actually yeah that doesn't matter that's fine it's not moving anywhere I was just thinking that I shouldn't have put the dimensionals on the top half but it doesn't make any difference because that we're not sliding this off so we're just gonna lay that over to the left. Why does it still look crooked? Maybe it's just my eyes. Like that. And then our two little leaves. Just curl those. And I think I'm going to attach them with a glue dot just for ease. So I'm going to stick them together with a glue dot and then I'm going to pick up another one to stick them down. And we'll just... Oh, there's a dimensional there. Pop them down there and they'll stick nicely to the ribbon. And then we'll do the same with the stars. Just add a couple in. With our take your pick tool, doesn't want to let go. You could maybe add a different colour star. Oops. Oop. Now it's upside down. Covered in glue. Now it's stuck to me. Do you know what? The easiest thing to do now. <laughs> oh my goodness. It doesn't want to let go of me. It's just to use my hands to do it. Let's just get rid of that Tombow off my fingers. You could really... You could go to town with this packaging. And you could use different colours. Obviously, I've just stuck to kind of gold and green. But I've left it at that. But what I thought you could do, although there is no... So inside we've got our treats. I thought this card with your gift card in could also go in here as well. 
So what I would do is put that one, maybe we'll put that one at the front. Pop the tails in. Doesn't want to go in. And then this one could go at the back. Let's open it up properly. So we've got like a double treat. So we've got our little gift card and then we've got our treat pouch at the back. You'd have to seal that down with a little seal. I use, um, I've got my own labels, but I've got a roll of these like clear seals. So you could seal it down with something like that or a bit of pretty Christmas washi tape or something. And then you've got a really nice gift, a gift in a gift, a gift in a packet. So there's my original. It's pretty much the same, but with different greeting. I love both of these greetings. So, so that was kind of my spin on how to, let's just take one of these out so we can see it. Oops, now I've torn it. How you can give a gift card. I'm going to put that one back in the front because it just sits better. How you can give a gift card and kind of package it to make it look something more than it actually is. So it's like you're giving a gift, even though you're only giving that card that is a gift, you're actually giving a package. So there's a bit more substance to it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching and joining in. Margaret, you've just finished four Father Christmas train and carriages on slim cards. Oh, that sounds delightful. I don't actually have that bundle, but I think it is super, super cute. And the papers that go with it are delicious, aren't they? So, Kate, all you need is a supply of paper bags. Yes, well, I can help you out with that one. I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be offering a, a class in the post. So, or if, I've got another class on and you want to come and use my stamps. You can come to the studio when I've got another class and come and do some stamping. Um, but I've got a different colourway. So I've got the treat boxes. I've got, what have I included in my kit? Let's grab. But this is for a different colourway. So you'll get two of the craft boxes, four of the paper bags. You've got some glassine bags, which I'll show you where they come from in a moment. Then you're going to get a whole roll of the red ribbon, which is from the combo with the garden green. You will also get some pattern paper cut into pieces that you will need. And you also get maybe a meter of the garden green ribbon as well um, for £15 plus postage. You will get all die cut pieces. And it's actually for this colourway. Let's just move these to one side. Oh, I need to steal a box. Let me just steal a box a minute. So we've got this colourway. We've got this tree bag. This is where I did the white embossing so within that kit you would get all of these layers the only thing you have to stamp i've got a, a, a standing up bag i will show you that let's just pop this one back in so completely different colorway okay so you get all your pieces uh, I, on my original, I didn't actually stick those stars on there as well. I'm just stealing this box rather than building up another. So obviously there's way too many stars on there for me. I would leave this blank. These boxes are lovely. If you stamp on them with Versamark, they look beautiful. Um, but the where the glassine bag comes into its own. So this bag, I would also put in the gift card 
holder. But then I thought you could also package up a nice bar of chocolate. So that's where the glassine bags are in there. And you'll get obviously the ribbon, you'll get the twine, you'll get the little tag, anything that's die cut or embossed. So you'll get everything. All you will need to do is follow along with this video and stamp your own greeting, okay? Because everything else will be there for you. And obviously, if you're no good at tying bows, then you can just tie knots, like I showed you earlier. So, so that's the, the like real red version with the garden green. But so yeah, you'll get four paper bags, two of the boxes, all of your cardstock layers all cut, all of your die cut pieces done as well. Um, you'll get your pieces of pattern paper, all for £15 plus postage, which postage should only be like £1.60 on top. Um, I guess I could do this colour combo if you want. You can do this colour combo, um, but you won't get as much ribbon. You won't get a whole roll of ribbon. You'll only get probably half of a roll, just thinking of how it worked out. Probably get half a roll of this and then maybe a metre of the satin. So both, both projects are the same, but just kind of different in colour. So I will try and post information about that. I cannot send these emails, which is so frustrating. Just cannot send them. So what else do I want to show you? So I've got a crackers and cards class coming up. Let's leave those there so you've got something to look at. Uh, that is on my events website. I've also got my framed florets class coming up in December. I am doing the free kits when you buy any three adhesive. I'm looking for the projects. Here they are. So if you purchase any three adhesives, you will get the kits to make these in the post as well. So, Kate, you like the red combo? Yeah, I just, I, you know me. They're, they are festive, I guess. But you could, I could if you didn't want the, the succulent ribbons, you could have the roll of red. Would that work? Where have I put it? It's there. I mean, would you put the red ribbon with that? I guess if you did red stars, could give you red ribbon and red stars. That would kind of tie it together. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got the free gift with the adhesives. I've got a lot going on. And then I've got free kits for my framed florets class. You'll get the free kits if you buy the bundle. Or you can come along to the class for half price. So lots going on. Lots going on. Right, I am going to love you and leave you. It's coffee and rocky road time. I'm going to get tidied up and settle myself down, ready to... Watch you, Belle. I can't wait to see what you're creating today. Um, while I work, I am going to be working at the same time. So I haven't shown you this either. It's not going to... I wonder if I can zoom out a little bit. This is my Stamping Up on stage bag. It's gorgeous. It's evening evergreen and it's logoed. It's like a nice crossbody. How lovely is that? And how lovely does it coordinate with these projects? I just saw it across the room. I haven't shown you any of my stuff from on stage. Um, there just hasn't been time. It's been super, super busy. So anyway, I'm going to dash. I'm going to grab that coffee. Sit and have um, a quiet 10 minutes before before I start work again. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you for everybody who has stopped by. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for joining. Um, yeah, it was a lovely bag, isn't it, Kate? I'll be definitely getting a lot of use out of that. And, you know, I wear a lot of soft succulent as well. So, but I'll catch you all very, very soon. Um, and take care in the meantime. So bye for now, everybody.